From Nutrient Ag Solutions, I'm Senior Meteorologist Andrew Pritchard with your Canadian Prairie Weather Story for Wednesday. I want to say Monday, so Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. Your 10-day takeaways, it is going to be windy at times. Today, it's going to be across portions of western Alberta where those wind gusts could be blowing up to 100 kilometers per hour with the storm system passing through the area. We have a series of disturbances that will be kind of racing across western Canada. Not a lot of precipitation to talk about. As we look at the precip map, we'll talk about this more in depth. A lot of storm systems racing through through probably three to four over the next seven to ten days not any of them going to be bringing any soaking rains to the prairie here again bringing those winds and some big temperature swings as each one of these little fronts comes through we'll get another shot of cooler air you see the drop from 27 today in calgary 17 tomorrow back up to 21 friday back down to 18 and 13 degrees respectively for saturday and sunday over the coming weekend now currently temperature is pretty uniform in the low to mid teens Across much of the prairie, you find some single digits as you head north of Highway 16 here early this morning. And then animating the radar picture here early Wednesday morning, you see some showers in the uh, the Peace River, Grand Prairie area, maybe a couple raindrops in Edmonton. This is kind of the look. Now, it's going to be a little different every day, but this area here, kind of Grand Prairie, Peace River, you may pick up some precipitation here with some of these disturbances kind of lofting or like over the top of the ridge. Uh, meanwhile, a bit drier the further south that you go. So... That's kind of the pattern that we'll be talking about here over the next couple of minutes. So here's your total precipitation over the next seven days from the European AI forecast system. You can see the you know chance for some showers north of Highway 16, pretty sparse south of that with that little kind of blob or whatever you'd like to call it of higher precipitation across the Grand Prairie Peace River area over to the north of Edmonton. Now, as I add in, this will be the next 10 days total, just not much change. There's not a lot cha of change in the pattern of the next 10 days. It's going to be rather active, but rather dry when it comes to substantial precipitation. Now, one more way to look at this, the next 15 days departure from average it's not just western canada much of the western and central u.s are going to be impacted by this ridge of higher pressure that's going to keep precipitation generally on the low side in most areas now here is that ridge on wednesday morning big ridge from the western u.s all the way up through the prairie so this is kind of what reinforces itself over and over as these systems ride over the top of it keeping us dry from western canada down into the western u.s now i'll animate this and you can see you know the pattern continues to be rather progressive overall here is uh what's going to be hurricane helene coming up into the southern u.s you see a bit of a here let's go back here this this trough swings in this is what brings the high winds uh you know today tomorrow across the rest of the prairie it lifts over the prairie we get the high pressure kind of building back in fast jet stream flow overhead so that's why it's not as if it's a dormant quiet pattern overhead it's just one that's not going to bring a lot of measurable precipitation for a couple of reasons now the ridge is back here tuesday october 1st first day of uh, october next week here comes another big trough digging in as we get into the first week of october so the jet stream wins with this again very active overhead so what is the deal the pattern is active why is it so dry well we have a lot of dry air we're getting to that time of year where just because the pattern's active does not mean it's going to be precipitating a whole lot across western Canada. So here's the feed of moisture into each of these systems. We're pulling a little bit in from the Pacific. You see the first one here Wednesday, Thursday. Here's another storm system coming in over the early half of the weekend. Just, you know, all of the deep moisture uh, is being kind of held off to the south. If I kind of just well, let's bounce back here, animate this one more time. You know, here's Hurricane Helene, very deep tropical moisture, obviously. But then even the, the real, you know, Ambient moisture, I don't know what word that I'm looking for here on this Wednesday morning, kind of that in between where it's, you know, too dry to precipitate and maybe just moist enough to give us some showers and storms. You know, we're up in here in Western Canada. We're not asking for dew points uh, that are, you know, north of 25 degrees C or something like that. It's just, it's a dry pattern because there's a lot of dry air that these systems will be working in. Again, bringing some Pacific moisture with them, but when we bring storm systems in and they're able to just kind of tug some Pacific moisture in, a lot of that is wrung out with that journey over the Rocky Mountains. And the result then is a storm system that still impacts us on the winds front, still impacts our temperatures. But when we have that lift there, it's, it's lifting a lot of dry air. So we don't squeeze a lot of moisture out of that. So here's what it looks like then with the precipitation forecast over the next seven to 10 days. The first storm system lifting in now, bringing the gusty winds and the temperature swings warmer in advance, cooler on the backside. But you see, as it does so, the area of low pressure emerging here, not a lot in the way of organized showers and storms. Maybe some raindrops here for your Thursday across parts of uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan. 
this is what we've got as we go into friday kind of in between that ridge kind of reinforces itself another little weak disturbance passing north of the area here friday night this is your weekend saturday and sunday next area of low pressure emerges here on sunday afternoon over alberta again some light rain maybe some snow in the higher elevations on the north side of this but out ahead of that you know we're not kicking off heavy rain producing showers and thunderstorms on the south side of these systems it is just dry so north of that we're able to lift some of that moisture get some just you know broader areas of light rain showers on the south side where we would expect that heavier rain it's just not happening and these systems are cooking as they move through so they're not going to be staying around and lingering with that light rain either here's the next one that comes in tuesday wednesday so it's kind of just rinse and repeat over the next seven days these areas of low pressure they come racing in they bring some gusty winds they mess with our temperatures but they really struggle to produce a lot of meaningful precipitation and so we'll see that here with the european ensemble model our probability forecast here for precipitation so this is the probability of getting more than half an inch of rain over the next uh 10 days and so you can see peace river grand prairie up to the north of edmonton that's where you've got a better than 50 percent chance of picking up half an inch of moisture over the next 10 days but south of that south of highway 16 uh pretty slim pickings a 10 to 20 percent chance not the odds that i would want to be playing there it's likely going to be on the drier side there drier than half an inch probably drier than a tenth of an inch as well as we look at the probability there for the next 10 days again highway 16 and north pretty good chance as you get some of these rain showers you're going to stack up a tenth of an inch over the next seven to ten days but south of that still struggling to make that and as I just kind of look at the you know precipitation in a way that's more intuitive from the AI forecast system again through the next week south of highway 16 pretty slim pickings you know you, you have to get two and a half millimeters to get that light green color so south of that we're talking about less than a couple of millimeters of precipitation north of highway 16 a slightly better chance for some light rain showers you got to go all the way to peace river grand prairie north of edmonton in alberta portions of you know north central and northwestern alberta uh maybe getting into that you know 15 to 25 millimeter range here certainly not going to be soaking in those areas by any stretch your wind gusts over the next four to five days this would be with that first system you see what happens here just you know gusts anywhere from 60 70 maybe 80 miles per hour in some areas the higher elevation certainly gusting 80 to 100 kilometers per hour uh you know today across western portions of alberta what happens is these systems come racing through those strong winds are, are blowing out of the south in advance and then they come screaming in out of the west on the backside so some breezy warmer winds in advance of each low and then on the backside you get that shot of cooler air coming in with those gusty winds very classic late september early october pattern we are steamrolling into fall across north america now those temperatures are much above normal to get the week started here very mild but those shots of cooler air will be coming we've got the first one here over the weekend uh or i'm sorry late week into the weekend and then additional shots of cooler air uh, we'll be following that so you can see your temperature swings here for each of the uh you know select cities here 27 today 17 tomorrow in calgary 21 on friday back down to the lower teens by the time we get to sunday and monday those overnight low temperatures very close to the freezing mark so we cannot rule out you know some frost events as we get into next week especially in the west again alberta going to be the cooler spot with these more fresh shots of cooler air 26 for the high today in edmonton chance for those lows to uh, get down to the zero mark as we get into next week as well saskatoon here's your next 10 days 30 for the high well above normal today 20 tomorrow quite a bit cooler all the way down to 13 for your high next monday with those lows again in the low single digits regina very similar look shots of cooler air on the way winnipeg you hold on to the warmer air a little bit longer mid to upper 20s for you through the weekend you too will feel the cooler air though as we get into next week high temperatures in the mid-teens overnight lows in the mid single digits